Students struggle to get textbooks, and President McGee shares a southern delicacy in the calf. Hello and welcome to QUTV News. I'm Jay Hamill. QU will be hosting a COVID-19 booster clinic for all students, employees, and their families in the Hall of Fame room on today, February 7th from 2 to 5. Illinois Department of Public Health will administer Moderna and Pfizer boosters. Initial doses of the vaccine will also be available. QUTV reporter Madison Norris joins us now in Chicken and Waffles, a southern delicacy at QU. Quincy University holds its annual Chicken and Waffles event to start off the new semester and new year. On Saturday, January 29th, President Brian McGee held his infamous Chicken and Waffles event. After working in the South for years, McGee could not help but introduce Chicken and Waffles to QU. Students have grown fond of this event for both its delicious food and its great company. Um, I really enjoy seeing President McGee in the calf, and I look forward to this every single semester. The sweet and savory combination is well known to be McGee's favorite food. Many staff members join in on the fun to help McGee make his event come to life. One of the many benefits of being a QU student is having events like this where students and staff get to interact with food. Chicken and Waffles has been around since the 1930s and originates in Harlem. The QU event, however, has only been around for four years. The classic southern dish not only invites students to join in on indulging, but it also encourages interaction. So I decided uh, first year I was here at QU, we were going to have a chicken waffles event. And from there it's just taken off every year, every, and, and usually every semester we do chicken and waffles. So it's a great way to create community, it's a great way to have a little fun with food, and who could not enjoy this savory and sweet combination that is chicken and waffles. President McGee always has these fun ideas. What did you enjoy most about the event, Madison? So I always love being able to see President McGee so animated and so excited to be there with everybody. Um, but I have to admit, I, get, I did get to try the chicken and waffles, and I've got to say they're pretty good. So I'm glad that we get to have events like that because of McGee. Was this your first time? So this was not my first time. Um, I transferred right before COVID hit, so I was there for one of the first chicken and waffles events and then I have not heard of it since so luckily we are bringing those back those events back and seeing them published everywhere so we know that they're happening for sure Q has announced the appointment of Justin Coffey to Father Aaron Pimbleton endowed chair in history the position takes effect this semester Professor Coffey becomes the third historian at Quincy University to hold the Pimbleton chair Coffee currently serves as professor of history and has been a QU faculty member since 2007. Coffee earned a doctoral degree in history from the University of Illinois, specializing in United States history since 1877. The QU music department will be hosting auditions for the Virtuoso Scholarship Awards on February 19th. The department will award four, four full tuition scholarships to talented high school seniors. The recipients must participate in the music program, but do not have to be a music major. Other music scholarships will be granted as well. The art and communication departments will be hosting a visit day at the same time. Classes are back in session, but students do not have their books. QUTV reporter Evan White went to the bookstore to find out what the problem is. Students of Quincy University are finally getting adjusted back into their normal routine after a long, relaxing winter break. Many students returning to campus have had questions about the bookstore, wondering why haven't they received their materials for the course yet? A lot of students still don't have their books. Who has these answers? Let's go and find out. Inside of the bookstore, you can see a ton of bins piled to the top, filled with books that has yet been picked up by students. So personally, I believe I was one of the lucky ones this semester and ended up getting my books on time. 
However, I was a bit skeptical and worried because a lot of my peers said, oh, I don't have my books yet. I'm still waiting for the email. And that made me very worried for myself because I did not know if I actually did get all my books, even though the bookstore told me they did. And I was wondering maybe there might have been a misprint on my receipt. I just was not sure. So I really did have to think twice about that. Look for emails from the QU bookstore that will notify them when their books are available, if they're still waiting for something to be made available. Uh, email is when they should get a notification that the books are available. Uh, we are still sending out daily updates to the faculty to inform them of, uh, so that they can talk to their students of what's still uh, needed for each student. Uh, we, we're still trying to push out as much information as we can as we have more detailed information as to when the books will be available, if there is anything on back order. So there's, uh, uh, I say, pay attention to your QU emails. Uh, and then, of course, if you haven't picked up your books, uh, please come to the bookstore and pick them up. Uh, we do have lots of books available for students to pick up. And uh, the more that come in and pick them up, it'll be uh, easier for us to uh, sort through what's left to do. QU staff has sent out a numerous amount of emails alerting students for pickup. The staff has received many concerns with the situation but want students to know they are working very hard to ensure students stay on the right track to succeed. The bookstore seems to have this problem every semester. Thankfully, I have all my books now. Have you got your books, Evan? I sure did. Um, it took a while. I had to just uh, keep going back to the bookstore and I was checking my email, but I was able to receive all of them finally. Good deal. Hopefully they get this problem fixed. For sure. Thank you for watching QUTV News this week. Follow us on social media and see more on QUmedia.net.